Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It is the early hours of the day. We are in Laredo, Texas, and we are at Matt VT's Laredo Distribution Center. We're just about to get all finished and uh, loaded up here. As you can see, we're running for Burger King today. We've got the, and we'll be able to see it a little bit better as we move on through the drive. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Overfloater's K100. It is a free truck. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. And the trailer is Smarty's Tempty Super Seal Reefer. We have both skins done by Richard Brown. It's kind of a throwback, so the RP today is going to be taking place in about 1982 is what I would think. Um, somewhere late 70s, early 80s. And so the RP is we are in Laredo and we have been tasked with getting everything, all the supplies over to one of the Burger King locations. In this case, it's going to be to Beaumont, Texas. Let me get the map open and I'll show you. So we have a little bit of a drive today. We're down here in Laredo in the south of Texas and we're going to head all the way over to Beaumont. It's about seven and a half hours game time, give or take. Uh, we're not going to see the whole trip. I just really want to take the time to set it up, let you know what the RP is. I'm going to be talking a lot more about it as we get going. And we can see that in the process of them loading it, we're all good to go. And it's already started to, sun st uh, started to come out. So let's go ahead, get in, and we'll talk about the rest on the way. There we go. So we are actually delivering to a Burger King. I had to RP it because you can't... Burger King is not a uh, scheduled job in this game. It is cool that with real companies it allows us to see things like that, but unfortunately we can't deliver to them, so I'm going to be delivering somewhere in the area. Um, not too far, just basically down the street from the Burger King. And it's kind of funny because there are not as many Burger Kings as I thought there were going to be. By the way, to RP this, while we're technically carrying items for a Burger King, this distribution center here just kind of brings in all the stuff. We had uh, beef patties brought in from Texas Beef Packers Plant in Lubbock, Texas. And we also had it brought in from Sooner Meats up in Clinton, Oklahoma. By the way, both of those places are included in a free mod by Jab Mod Shop called Texas Beef Packers Plant. You can go ahead and search for that online and I'll throw a link down below as well. But it's a great mod, free, a lot of detail in it. Uh, what this distribution center also got in was a bunch of produce, a bunch of buns, cheese, I believe also some frozen chicken that they use for their chicken sandwiches. I mean, fresh chicken. Sorry, Burger King. And yeah, my job essentially is I'm located here in Laredo and my job is to serve the south and southeast portion of Texas, all those Burger Kings with this nice throwback retro <laughs> skin on the trailer. I love it. Absolutely love it. Got a little bit of chrome on the back, though. Looking good. And so, it's a Monday. I'm leaving the yard. I've got all of my stuff in here for all of the Burger Kings that I'm going to be going to. And my first stop is Beaumont. That's why we're making this drive today. And I'm going to head to six other Burger Kings throughout the course of the week to drop off all of their stuff. And then, at the end of the week, I'll kind of loop around, head back toward the south, and then I'll make it back here into this distribution center. I'll have the weekend off, and we'll start again on Monday. So that is the RP for what's going on here today. The engine is Creech Bomb's uh, Cummins 444. It's a 520 horsepower version, actually pretty souped up. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be moving along pretty quick. We also have a 13-speed, 
and the 13 speed is actually I have a variant on it it's a it's called a high speed transmission and the reason why it's called a high speed tra uh, transmission uh, initial where should we go left okay initial gear is like 12 I believe and uh, the differential of that final gear is 3.06 helps us move along pretty pretty rapidly and the high speed version of it as I was labeled is actually part of retro developments add-on to the K100 you can find that by uh, searching it on Steam uh, the Steam Workshop as well so 13 speed and a uh, Cummins 444 really enjoying this uh, engine because it's kind of a yards, turn right. it's kind of a throwback you know to what you would find uh, around this time but turn right. you could also find stuff like uh, Detroit like the 8V71 8V92 and I find those I drive them every now and then but they're really loud, they're really obnoxious, and the Cummins 444 is kind of a tamed down. I mean, it doesn't sound anything like the Detroit, it's just a little bit more tame, in my opinion. Yards, while still, you got still some grit in it. Turn left. We're just kind of zigzagging before we get on the highway here. Is this guy not going to move? All right, AI, love it. I'm loving these skins by Richard Brown, though. I believe this um, skin here on the K100 is something that Richard Brown added to his K100 pack just recently. Let's get on the road here. Because the way Richard Brown does it is he started a K100 pack back in the day and he just makes additions as he goes. And every time he makes an addition, he just essentially calls it the same file, just adds new ones, and it's, you just drag and drop it right into your mod folder and ask it to replace the previous file. Makes it super easy and he just builds over time. So I think he's got at least 20, 25 different skins in this pack for the K100. Okay, they got that shut down today. Not going through any inspections or any way stations today. Not here anyway. So, pretty cool. Truck is free. Trailer's free, skins are free, the engine's free. Just having some fun and driving for Burger King. You will want to stick around to the end, though, because the delivery is a little sketchy. So when I was looking for a place um, why I settled on Beaumont, I looked at tons of different Burger Kings throughout uh, Texas, probably six or seven of them. Not nearly as... Uh, prolific as something like Taco Bell or KFC or McDonald's. You can find those everywhere. But just about every one, every one of the Burger Kings, they're in locations where you can't actually access them because the roads are blocked. So I can't RP driving into one. And the one in Beaumont, I can actually drive into. It's pretty cool. here so I'm just gonna kind of pass this guy we're getting just about up near the speed limit anyway 75 we are carrying 33,000 pounds of Burger King products patties cheese buns produce chicken you name it probably even some fries everything that's gonna help this Burger King in Beaumont get stocked up for the week and then I'll hit the other six places later after this drive. We'll go back and we'll do it again the following week. 
And uh, after I get done toward the end of the week, I do my last drop probably about 10 a.m. on Friday. And on my way, headed back into headed back into the distribution center. Usually they have me pick up a few things um, because everything pretty much just gets assembled at the distribution center so that I'm not just carrying one product. I'm carrying all of the products for this week. And maybe I'll go pick up some napkins or some packaging or sometimes they'll have me, you know, drop by a Tyson and pick up some chicken. So it's never... It's never a situation where I'm going back and making that final run back to the distribution center empty, costing the company money in terms of my time and in terms of fuel and maintenance. We're always doing something to make sure that that distribution center has all of its stuff so that everything is good to go for Monday. So pretty productive, pretty efficient working for Burger King. I've got my set route. I know it. And I just do it every week. It's kind of a combination. I mean, I am driving to other cities, so it's not exactly like like straight pickup and delivery work, because I am driving longer distances, not just staying local. But I do have my planned route, and rarely does it change. But... Yeah, serving seven different Burger Kings throughout the south and southeast of Texas. That is the RP for today. That Cummins 444 sounds really good. I also have, uh, I believe, retro development wheels on it. So 24s. We're actually speeding. It's 60 miles an hour through here. Slow down just a bit. So, show you a little bit more of the truck on the outside. You see the truck and trailer, and then we'll skip ahead a little bit further on. I'll catch you probably closer to the drop off area. Oh. Let's go through this transition here first. We can go through this one actually pretty fast because we're just switching over to the 10. Keep right. We're pretty much going to take the 10 all the way in, I believe. Unless it reroutes us for accidents or traffic or something like that. Usually just end up taking the 10 straight in. So once we get through these uh, interchanges here, I'll show you a little bit on the outside again, and we'll pick it back up when we get closer to the drop in Beaumont.
We got a lot of construction going on in Texas here. Busy doing tons of upgrades, which is cool. I like seeing that in the sim where it kind of shows the development of things, it gives it more of a realistic feel. That combined with uh, various sorts of closures and accidents and stuff gives you a little bit more immersion. And especially when um, it takes a little bit more time to get a big truck stopped, you really need to be a little bit more on your toes if you're going to play it realistic. Always scanning the mirrors to see who's around you. Always trying to look up ahead, figure out if they're suddenly stopped. Yep, just taking it straight through on the 10 today. Plane coming in. Whoa. Let's keep her on the road, huh? Go guys. Totally realistic there too. Probably someone just texting. Not paying attention to what they're doing. Well, we're just about coming in to the, uh, coming into Beaumont here. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Had a couple accidents, not by us, just on the road. A couple, right couple times they tried to reroute us. Um, I don't usually go along with those things, and I just sneak through the barriers. So we are coming up here. The Burger King is not that far off of the uh, Turn right. off the highway. And we're going to want some of this traffic to clear out anyway because we're going to have to pull into that center lane. Burger King, you can see, is right up here on the left. The island does disappear here. Get that blinker off. Alright, so there it is. The island disappears so we can make this turn in, but I have to be kind of strategic about it. have to wait for some traffic to clear. This is going to be a little sketchy. We got plenty of room here on this side. No cars are coming. But yeah, this is one of the few Burger Kings that I've found that you can actually pull into. There's no, there's no uh, barrier there. We got to go around this car here too. don't think I'm going to make it, going to avoid that curb. We did avoid the light pole though. Let's go out and check. Oh yeah, we cut it a little bit too much. Like I said, this uh, parking's a little sketchy. I don't want to swipe that car. Go ahead and do that. Come in at that angle. We're still going to have to turn it so we don't swipe that car. There we go. 
And they usually like it right around the corner, too. So I think I'm going to try to guide it in as far as I can back there. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's doable. Just watch out for this building here on the side. I don't think I'm going to avoid hitting this curb. So we'll just kind of go slow. Doesn't look like we're going to hit the side of the building, so that's good. And this is a good day to have a cab over. Yeah, we're making it back there pretty good. Wrap right around the building there. Try to straighten it out. Bring it right up to that back door. Make it nice and easy for him. All right. Pretty sure that's going to do it. Let me go ahead and, yep. See him bringing it right, right to that back door for him to unload. So that about does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Consider hitting the notification bell so you can see all of my videos. This has been kind of a retro throwback Burger King delivery. Again, Beaumont, Texas, one of the few Burger Kings that you can actually get into without barriers. Um, that's going to wrap up this video, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.